Hi guys. So since we're still talking about fantasies and using our imagination with our writing, I want to read to you one of my favorite books. They made a movie over it, Where the Wild Things Are by Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. So here we go. Where the Wild Things Are. Oh, and I do want to tell you that this book also won a special medal. Um, it's called the Caldecott Medal because of the pictures that Maurice, Maurice Sendak drew and put in the book. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. So he's kind of being an ornery feller. And another. Oh my goodness, he's chasing the dog with a fork. His mother called him wild thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. And so he was sent to bed without eating anything. Oh, look, he looks cranky about it. He was being ornery, wasn't he? That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. So is a forest really growing or is he using his imagination? What do you guys think? and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. How many of you guys have ever used your imagination to pretend like your room, your bedroom, or your house was somewhere different? And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and the day. In and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and they gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, Be still! and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once, and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. He's using a big imagination, isn't he? And they made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Look, they're all dancing under the full moon. They really are wild things. They're hanging from the trees in the daylight. They're having a parade at night with Max as the king of the wild things. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. So really what happened was he quit pretending that he was a wild thing and probably decided to behave so that his mom would give him some supper. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. And the wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. He's done pretending, isn't he? And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. Where do you think he's going to end up after he sailed through all that? into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. So I really like that book. What a great imagination that Max had, and what a great imagination Maurice Sendak had for being able to not only write that book really well, but let the pictures tell such a story. He was a great illustrator and could draw some really good pictures. So I want you guys to keep that in mind when you're doing your writing. Remember, your pictures are also telling a story. So think about that and have fun using those imaginations.